Welcome to Railfans Canada. Today, we're exploring the proposed Barhaven LRT extension, a potential 10km addition to Ottawa's O-Train network. It's not yet funded or approved, but the plans are very detailed and we're going on location to give you a full breakdown. Let's go over some of the basics. This would be a 10km extension from Algonquin to Barhaven Centre. It would have seven stations, five of which would be elevated, and two below grade. It would be fully segregated, just like the rest of the O-Train system, which provides speed, reliability, and safety. Let's take a look at the route that the Barhaven extension will take as part of O-Train Line 1. The line will pick up from Algonquin Station, the current terminus from Stage 2, which is underground. It will emerge into an open trench immediately south of the station to rise up and become elevated just before reaching the road to cross over Tallwood and arrive at the station of the same name. From here, the line will continue along an alignment parallel to Woodruff, staying entirely elevated for the next few stations. After passing through Knoxdale Station, the guideway will shift into the center median of Woodruff Avenue to navigate around the residential area located off to the side. It will then return to its original alignment just prior to arriving at the Nepean Sportsplex station. Departing the station, it will then drop back down to be at grade and follow the existing bus transitway alignment through the green belt until Fallowfield Station. It is important to note that the line will once again become elevated prior to reaching the Via Guerrero crossing, allowing the trains to pass above and over the Via tracks. Likewise, the at-grade crossing of Woodruff Avenue with the Via tracks will also finally become grade separated. The line will continue elevated into Fallowfield Station. From here, it will drop down and pass underneath Fallowfield Road before returning to the surface. Continuing along the transitway alignment, the train will arrive at Longfield Station, which will be converted for O-Train service. As the line starts turning towards Strandherd, we can notice the new Green Bank Yard TSSF or Train Storage and Servicing Facility, which we will discuss further later in the video. As the line continues south, it will continue below grade until the end of the line passing underneath road crossings until it arrives at Strandherd Station, which will become below grade in a trench. The final station will be Barhaven Centre, which will replace the existing Marketplace Station and Barhaven Centre in a new location, found roughly in the middle between those two stations. Next station, Tallwood. You can see in the distance Algonquin Station underground. The tracks would come out from there to be in an open trench to quickly rise up to become elevated uh, quite a bit before they reach the intersection over here at Tallwood. Cross the intersection, cross the street into this open field area, which is right next to the uh, City of Ottawa's Public Library Central Archives. And this would be the Tallwood Station. It would be elevated, and the elevated alignment would continue just past the Nepean Sportsplex, which is farther down on Woodruff. So pretty much from uh, Algonquin Station all the way until pretty much Fallowfield, it's going to be following pretty much parallel alignment to Woodruff Avenue. And the Tallwood Station would be just in the clearing over here. Next station, Knoxdale. Here we are at the future Knoxdale station. It's 
going to be an elevated station. And interestingly, the CN and Via tracks cross uh, just over Woodruff, over there. Woodruff drops down underneath. Due to the O train being elevated, it will actually go above those tracks, so it will be completely separated. The station will arrive in this general field area, pretty much about here. Be elevated entrances underneath. There's an intersection there to be able to uh, cross Woodruff, go to other destinations. And there's also a lot of residential housing on this side right here, so people won't even have to cross the street if they're uh, living in the region over here, neighborhood. So this is Knoxdale Station. And then the train will continue on in that direction afterwards. As the train departs Knoxdale Station, the elevated guideway will shift into the median of Woodruff Avenue to avoid the residential area off to the side and then return back to its original alignment just before reaching the Nepean Sportsplex. Next station, Nepean Sportsplex. Here we are now at the Nepean Sportsplex station site, because it's not here yet. Station would be just across from the Nepean Sportsplex on Woodruff, in this uh, grassy area. And would link up with the existing bus only transit way that runs all the way down to Fallowfield. Station would be here, there would be uh, elevators and stairs to reach a second level where there would be a pedestrian crossing to go to the opposite side where the sportsplex is on that side however there wouldn't be elevators there would just be uh, mostly ramps just a bit of a reminder here the track became elevated just after leaving algonquin station and once it reaches nepean sportsplex It'll pass through here and then drop down to add grade until it reaches just before Fallowfield Station. Next station, Fallowfield. A new grade crossing will be built near Woodruff and Fallowfield so that the O-Train guideway can pass above the Via Rail tracks. Likewise, a grade separated crossing for Woodruff Avenue roadway itself is also planned. These two elements will greatly increase the safety and security of this Via Rail crossing. There will also be a below grade crossing underneath Fallowfield Road as the O train heads south beyond Fallowfield Station. Here we are now at the Fallowfield Station. You can't see it from here, but behind those trees would be the Fallowfield Via Rail train station. The O-Train Fallowfield station would be just in this area here, pretty much where you can see right now the uh, bus stops. So right now you can see that the bus station is a transitway bus station. So buses are coming here at grade. But that will change. Once it becomes converted to O-Train, it'll be an elevated station. Trains will be coming through above. Here's another angle looking towards Woodruff, where the VRL tracks cross over the current transit way and Woodruff Avenue. There's the VRL station, and here is the Fallowfield transit way station, which would be converted to O-Train service. And it does say in the project, environmental assessment that there could be an opportunity as via rail is pursuing high frequency or high speed rail to have a joint station that combines both the O train and the via rail station into one building or one structure or one installation. So they are leaving that as a possibility. Whether that actually happens or not depends on what happens with high frequency, high speed rail for Via Rail. 
next station, Longfields. Here we are now at Longfield Station. This is one of the stations in Barhaven. Actually with a pretty unique design, lots of glass. Station is currently a bus rapid transit way station and it would be converted to O train service. So first of all, the lower level of the station would remain open for people to pass through from one side of the community to the other. The lower area would be expanded to add additional elevators for fare gates, ticket vending machines, and other building services that are required for O-Train service. So currently underneath it's a pretty open area, elevators, and then the passage that goes back up to that side of the community, and the passage on this side. This is what the platforms in the transitway area look like right now. And again, these platforms would be expanded. There'd probably be the overhead canopies, the glass, the trademark look of the O-Train would come and install itself here. I think that the station really, in general, has a really unique look. It has a rounded, sweeping look to it, which is really unique for a OC Transpo station. I think the local population agrees. storage and servicing facility. This new TSSF will work in conjunction with the existing facilities at Belfast and Moody. It was determined as part of the planning that an additional yard would be needed for overnight storage of trains, daily cleaning, inspections and minor repairs. The TSSF would need to accommodate 16 LRVs or 8 double trains. The location near the end of the line helps avoid the need for deadheading empty trains back to the other two facilities, reducing mileage on the trains and minimizing the time required to clear the tracks for overnight maintenance to take place. Important to note that heavy maintenance and major work would still take place at Belfast. Next station, Stranherd. Here we are now at Stanherd Station and this station currently has a very large park and ride. The station currently as well has an at-grade configuration so bus lanes come straight on through with the platforms. There's also a through crossing here to connect from one side of the community to the other. As you can see, it's an at-grade station. As a no-train station, that will change to being below grade in a trench. However, to maintain the connectivity for people walking through this area, the entrances will be on a uh, structure that allows people to cross through from one side here to the other to maintain the connectivity through the community. Next station, Barhaven Center. The train would pass through here. Instead of coming back up to grade, it would be below grade as it passes through this area ahead. This is the current marketplace station. As part of the O-Train marketplace station would be decommissioned due to its proximity to the final stop, the next one, Barhaven Center, which would ultimately replace this one with a new alignment and position. Here's just one other look at Marketplace Station, as it currently is, as a bus rapid transitway station.
and here we are at the final station, the terminus of the Barhaven extension on O-Train Line 1, Barhaven Center. As you can see, Marketplace is just, just right behind. It's actually not that far, so I mean, it really doesn't make sense to have Marketplace and Barhaven Center right here. They're not even uh, 300 meters apart. And the station would come straight through here. See, currently the road curves away. There's a bit of an S curve down the little slope here. The train alignment would actually come straight at us here rather than turn away. Again, it would be below grade. So the intersection there at Marketplace uh, would be an overpass bridge, but the station would, uh, the track would come underneath. So once the train passed through the station, there would be tail tracks at the rear end of the station to be able to store one or two trains to be able to deploy for increase in service and frequency or to store trains should there be a, a need to stop a train with a block in the tracks. If we look in this direction, you can see the bus stop flags on the sides of the road. That's the actual current Barhaven Center station. and the marketplace is just over here. So again, doesn't make sense to have both. You can put the station practically right in the middle of the two and serve it just as well, if not better than it is right now. It's very likely that the Barhaven extension will be built as two phases. The first phase would consist of Algonquin to Fallowfield. The second phase would be Fallowfield to Barhaven Center. While this is not set in stone, it is what has been indicated thus far in environmental assessments and studies. So, that's a full look at the proposed extension of Line 1, what it could look like, where it would go, and how it might be built out in phases over time. While it's not funded or approved yet, the planning work is done and ready to go. If you think this project should move forward, now's a good time to let your local councillor, MPP, or MP know. Barhaven is growing and this extension would be a huge step towards better transit for the West End. Let's make it happen. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to Railfans Canada so you never miss our latest content.